excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way... We didn't enter this bullshit club. Hey, Courtney. How are you? Max, our guest star arrives fashionably late. <laughs> Say bonsoir to the end of the world. Even though you flaked out my party makeover, you still get special access to the Vortex Club VIP lounge. You better let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> Get it? Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choice. 
You try to act like all shy and humble. You took a picture of me covered in paint. Who do you think set up the paint can to fall? It wasn't Samuel, dumbass. And you trashed my room after, so stop whining. You did that? You bitch! You could have killed me with that fucking can! I almost got that freak Samuel fired! And that would have been bad. <laughs> you're right, Victoria, for once. You actually think you're better than me! No fucking way. Guess I'll never be a member of the Vortex Club. No, bitch, you won't. Victoria, enough of this high school bullshit. We're adults now. So listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know you're close to Nathan, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace. Dark. Oh my god. And I'm the drama queen? Touché. But I am not fucking around here. Sorry, but no. No way. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. I don't believe anything you say. You're full of shit. Oh, hi, I'm Max Caulfield, and I'm so sensitive that butterflies make me cry. Now, will you listen? No, I won't. You're just pissed because you didn't enter a photo in the contest and that Mr. Jefferson is going to pick me. A real artist would have busted ass to win, but you just want to take your little retro selfies. That is so fucking lame and lazy, Max. Just go find a community college. <gasps> Victoria, please don't do this. Especially after what happened with Kate. Can't you see I'm serious? That's your problem, Max. This is a party, and it's the end of the world, so I am going to get so wasted, even you won't bother me anymore. I'll let Nathan know if he finally shows up. Adios. Au revoir. Okay, I tried. I mean, she's not going to believe me over her Vortex Club partner. Max, Vortex Club members only. Sorry, I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Fuck yourself, Evie. Real cute, Max. Do you even have a... Kate Marsh tried to... That's not my... I don't blame you, Victoria, but... Oh, God. It's more than... St I deleted that from my phone. <sighs> that makes both of us, Max. You have talent. You don't know. No, it. Yeah. Yes, you. Hard to believe. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Kate Marsh.
hard. That's not. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. I don't... Oh, you look... Victoria, enough of this high school bullshit. We're adults now. So listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know you're close to Nathan, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace. Dark. Oh my god. And I'm the drama queen? Touche. But I am not fucking around here. Sorry, but no. No way.
makes that decision. That well, Max, I don't. Huh? Victoria, enough of. Now that's hot. Bust a move. Trevor two. Electric boogaloo. Selfie, Victoria. That's not my. I blame. It's a fucking party. Everybody is. Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got. This is bigger than a problem. I'm not per. It's a 
but you saw. We were just... I hope you weren't fair. We'll see. In math? Maybe, but... Who... That one... Well... I... But Vic is close with Nathan. They're more like brother sister. Or something. She really cares about him. Is this why you want to be in a vortex club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last vortex club party by Nathan. So you should avoid any drink here tonight. Trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan is around now. He's a pharmacy simulator. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. That's not... I don't blame you, Victoria. Oh, it's more than... I deleted that from... I believe you, Victoria. But I don't... That makes both of us, Max. I always... Is that... Uh, you saw... We were... I hope you weren't fair. We'll see. Make whoever that well. I oh, you look. Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely Damn. not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. I always loved talking Maybe to he's friends. hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. Is it so, me? you made it, Max. Oh, uh, everybody hey, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Are you both okay? So you look like you're on a uh, mission. Oh, uh, so I was just too. looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He... He seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. So Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Sexy, you were so hot. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. 
And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Oh my god! You don't deserve to win! Boo, Victoria! Woo! Come on, what the fuck? Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria Malone. Victoria won. Thank you, Victoria. Big surprise. Speaking of I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. So Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan to punk ass. Now, me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. Well, we have to go to the junkyard right now. Oh, oh, oh.